good day. Uh, our topic today or our subject is chemistry for engineers. And as an introduction, by the way, I'm Alzhar Saidin, okay. uh, graduate of mechanical engineering. Then our first topic is in chemistry for engineers is electrochemistry and corrosion. So, since it, uh, introduction, just to in, introduce this uh, chemistry. So, what is chemistry? Chemistry, as it as it is defined, is the study of matter, its properties and change, changes it may undergo. All matter is electrical in nature. An atom is made up of subatomic particles like electors or electrons, protons and neutrons, and others. I will not tackle what is atom or uh, what is these electrons, protons, and neutrons. I presume that you already know this one uh, in your high schools. Okay? High school rather. Also, what is electrochemistry? Electrochemistry is a branch of chemistry which deals with the transformation of electrical energy into chemical energy or chemical en chemical into electrical energy. Example is a fuel cell, battery, from chemical to electrical energy. Your body also, from ke uh, no, no, although your body stores energy, but it is from chemical energy, Na uh, not included here. Concept of electrochemistry. Electrical conduction, we have divided into two four, uh, into four types, depending upon their capability of flow of electrons. We have first conductors. What are these conductors? Example of these conductors are metals, metal sulfides, acids, alkalis, salt solution, and fused salts. Or this conductor is a substance which allow electricity to pass through them are called conductors. Also, example of these conductors are our body, human body. As I, as I said, I presume that you already know about basic of chemistry in your uh, high school. Because in our in the past, in the past uh, we have basic chemistry and general chemistry subject but for you guys as a electric uh, chemistry for engineers it is uh, specifically for engineers so i presume that you already know this basic chemistry and general chemistry only the specific uh, unit here or topic here that i will discuss okay? so under these conductors we have Two types or electrical conductors we have metallic or electronic conductors and electrolytic conductors later i will discuss this one what's the difference with these two electrical conductors the next uh, types is non-conductors of course non-conductors the substance which do not allow electricity are called non-conductors example is pure water dry wood rubber paper non-metals etc what now what why is that pure water is a non-conductor whereas sometimes whereas no not sometimes always if not most of the time you will tell that ang too big ay conductor diba it is because water Ang sinasabing nagiging conductors ay merong mga impurities. What is these impurities we have? Iron and other uh, elements na nandoon sa tubig. But pure water is composed of H2O. Dalawang hydrogen at isang oxygen. Okay? And rubber. You know, uh, monkey the loopy of a character of one piece. He is a made of rubber and there's a certain uh, certain episode 
episodes that he, the antagonist is a a man of a lightning yes a man of lightning he is ineru he thought that no one can survive his power only to find that Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy, is made of rubber and cannot make a hit, direct hit, or what is that? Uh, effect on Monkey D. Luffy. Because he's made of rubber. Okay? So much for that. Next, third is semi, semi-conductors. What is this semi-conductors? Semi-conductors substances which partially conduct ele electricity are called semiconductors. The conducting properties of semiconducting properties are increased by addition of certain impurities called doping. Okay? Like I said, uh, probably I'm not really master of chemistry, but doping, uh, since it is addition of certain impurities, is like that it's up of water, then a certain impurities and it become a semiconductor. But example of this is silicon in addition of B group elements. B group elements, like I said, check your periodic table of elements. Then phosphorus, silicon produces N type semiconductor. On addition of third group element like boron, aluminum, silicon produces P type of sem semiconductor. Okay. This one, like I said, I will tackle the uh, metallic conductors and electrolytic conductors or difference of these two. What is metallic conductor? Okay. What is metallic conductor? Okay. Metallic conductors, the conductance is due to the flow of electrons. While in electrolytic conductors, the conductance is due to the movement of ions in solution what is this ions ions is the positive and negative right an ion and cation like in the battery okay, battery next is metallic conductors it does not result any chemical change yes no change no chemical change while in electrolytic conductors in, like in battery chemical reaction takes place at the electrodes. What is this is electrodes? Yung nasa mga nilalagyan mo ng iyong nodes. Nung mga anyway just uh, I will add some video later. Okay? Later in our discussion of these electrodes. Then metallic conduction decreases with increase in temperature. Temperature. Okay? Okay? Decrease, then increase in temperature. How about while in electrolytic conduction increases with increase in temperature? And in metallic conductors, it does not involve any transport of matter. While in electrolytic, it involves transfer of matter. Okay. Next, we have uh, some, <coughs> these are some theories, formula, formulas. For you to understand uh, electrochemistry, okay. we have electrical. What is electrical resistance? Okay. Electrical resistance or the Ohm's law. Uh, just, just remember this one. Voltage is equal to I R. What is I? I is current. R is resistance. So, babalik tarin mo rin. Babalik tarin mo lang yan. Kaya naging, ang formula ng resistance mo ay R is equal to voltage over I or amperes or current. Okay? That's it. And the units for this one is ohms. Ano bang itsura ng ohms? Ganyan. Ganyan lang ang ohms. Okay? We have conductance. So, ang conductance is reciprocal mo lang yung resistance. 1 over R. Lang. Specific conductance, 
reciprocal na mo naman ang specific resistance. Ito. Uh, reciprocal mo ng specific resistance. Okay? What's this? Ang specific... Okay. Wow. Unahin mo natin ito. Okay? Back, back here. Okay? Specific resistance is ohm pound that the solution of electrolyte also offers resistance to flow of current in the solution. The resistance of conductor is directly proportional to its length and inversely proportional to its cross-section. That's why the resistance offered by material of unit element, uh, unit length and unit area of cross-section is called specific resistance. That's why ang specific resistance, ito, okay, ang rho. Rho is equal to your resistance divided by the length times the cross section okay then your unit is this one and this one okay balik tayo sa specific conductance i-reciprocal mo lang yan kung anong result mo doon yun ang iyong specific conductance and then define uh, and it is defined as define as uh, the conductance of conductance of a solution enclosed between two parallel electrodes so, divided by distance. Okay, next we have equivalent conductance. Just study this, guys. Okay, study this one. Jan naman yun, no? Input formula kayo. Input lang. Substitute. Substitute lang. Ito. Substitute. Yan. For molar conductance. Next is same with this one, cell constant. Okay? Then, as a trivia, guys, bakit, uh, like I said, human body, living things, is a conductor? Okay? My question is, bakit ganun? Bakit yung sa distribution line, uh, transmission line, or yung sa mga sukel ko, meral ko, so, kote ko na linya nung sa poste ng mga wire, hindi na kukuryente yung mga uh, mga birds. Okay? Why is it that those birds are not ele electrocuted while it, uh, nandun naman sila, nakatapak sila doon? Okay, okay the, the, the answer is it is because although live yun, hindi sila nakatapak sa ground. Okay? There must be a ground para uh, maging, ano, para magkaroon ng current na pupunta doon. That's why, akala mo, napakagaling nung mga electrician, sabi nila, tingnan mo, hinawakan ko, hinawakan ko yung live, pero hindi ako nakukuryente. It is because, hindi sila nakatapak sa ground. Okay. And although they are nakatapak sila sa ground, pero meron silang boots or safety shoes para hindi ma-electrocuted. Yet. Then for further uh, for further reading class, we have variation of conductance with dilution. Then sample of measurement of conductance electrolyte okay study this one then i will ask uh, everybody for an oral recitation of this one uh, that would be all then that the topic for next me succeeding meetings we have electrochemical or cell or galvanic cell battery chemistry our unit 2 is corrosion and its control Next is water technology. Next is materials chemistry. Then fuels and combustion, most important for mechanical engineering. Okay? Thank you, guys.